Now in this video of language integrated query, we'll try to retrieve the data from the XML. As we know, the data stored in XML is in a very different format and is nowhere near around the C sharp object type. But because of this link, we will be able to shape the incoming data from the uh, XML document as the C sharp object. So here in this coming example, we have an XML file and we'll try to retrieve the data from that XML file using the simple link syntax. So let's have a practical implementation for this. So now, before starting the implementation of link to XML, we require a couple of things. First one is the new namespace which we will use here, that is system.xml.link. System.link will still be there as it was there in the previous videos. And after that, we will use the d XML file which is right here. And uh, here you can see the structure. The document element means the main tag out here is the tutorials point. Inside this, you will find number of EMP tags. Each EMP tag is containing the record inside it, which is comprising the properties like EMP ID, first name, last name, mobile number, and so on. So now, first of all, I'll have to re uh, I'll have to locate the file which I have already done. That is, it is in the root drive, and it is named data.xml. Now, just to get that element, I'll have to get the class from system.xml.link that is x document and let's name the object called doc is equal to not like new x document but yes x document dot load and here I can pass the path where this file is located now after this I can start reading the data from the file in a simple link syntax so what can I do is where result is equal to from EMP in doc. Now in this document we have a number of tags. We have to put a common tag inside which I will get the data. So as per the structure this EMP is the tag inside which I am getting all the information and I can make this EMP as the starting tag. So for that I will use a method called descendant and here I will just pass the name of the tag. Make sure since XML is a case sensitive language you use all the name of the tags in a very same case. And after that you can start getting the data. But obviously since XML is not in OOPS format, it's not in a typical class object format, so obviously you will not get the data. So for making it in that way, I'll have to go for again an anonymous type which I'm going to do now. So let's name the property id is equal to emp dot element since element is the tag the name of the tag is emp id again make sure that you are using the same name in the very same cases all right then dot value so whichever value is associated with that will be assigned to this one but since you can see value is of string type and I want my ID of integer type. So for that I will say int dot parse and inside this I will put the value. Similarly if you want some other values you can simply do it like name is equal to emp dot element which element the name is first name dot value alright and since value is of string type and name will be of string type itself so I'm fine with that so similarly you can retrieve the uh, the values the way you want similarly if you want to put any uh, condition then also you can go for that like where int dot parse emp dot element dpt id dot value should be equal to 10. Oh, I don't need to pass this in dot parse, uh, just wrote it by mistake because it's a condition and you do, don't need to type cast that to integer. All right, so it's a value. All right, and if the value is equal to 10, then I want to get only those records. So let's show the data in the grid view. 
so it's grid view dot data source is equal to result and then grid view one dot data bind now yeah, one thing which I forgot to specify that we have to search this file on the server location so it's server dot map path and I forgot to specify the name of the department column is department not dpt id so I just modified that here department just be sure about the name of the fields and columns which you have in your database accordingly to that you will write it here only so let's now execute I want to get only those records who are in department 10 so let's see so as here only one now let's change the value here to see whether we are getting that or not alright so th these are all in department 20 if you want you can just retrieve the value like that for department also here in the query so now let's execute to confirm like all the departments are same that is 20 and all are working in that itself so this is how you can start querying from the XML document